A respectful workplace is a workplace where we all enjoy coming to every day, where we're working together, collaborating, uh, because we have a passion for making a community great. Um, we're very fortunate to work within an atmosphere and a team environment where we can feel safe to work together, to have debates about important issues and to reach consensus together uh, before we move forward on major projects or on major decisions. So um, I really do appreciate the collaborative nature of the organization and the department. I really enjoy rolling up my sleeves and uh, getting stuff done with my staff and everybody else who works for the town of Okotoks. I personally enjoy is the respect I've earned from fellow uh, business centers uh, to help out and assist what I do and I get to meet those people and work with them so to me that's exciting. We work uh, very hard towards common goals and uh, you know we, we communicate those goals uh, with each other and, and make sure that they match what the organization and our, or the citizens expect from us. Uh, in a respectful workplace, you can have some of those tough conversations, uh, put them on the table, and talk to employees about what's working, what's not working, and generate solutions together. It's about collaboration, empowerment, and having a vision and knowing where you need to go. That we are nice to each other and that we respect everyone around us and by respect that we accept the differences of our co-workers and embrace them and use them to make the town a better place. I work with people who encourage me, who support me, who laugh with me. Laughter is so important. We have a lot of good chuckles around here and we work together very, very closely in tight quarters but we get the job done and the people here are respected. We like one another. We also have to be not afraid to take risks because the joy of working in Okotoks is we have the ability to be innovative and creative and collaborative and be leading edge. We're not a big bureaucracy here. We can do exciting things quickly. Depending on our staff to do that together is what gets me excited and that's the definition of a, re a respectful workplace for me. Like I'm with transportation, I work with parks, I work with all divisions, communications, and I just feel like I'm part of that. And uh, I'm respected for that, and respects return to those individuals. And to me, that's just a great workplace. It's just a, you're well respected. So I think number one, citizens um, need to change how they deal with the organization and our staff need to know that it's absolutely not acceptable for some of the way I've seen uh, us being treated and I'm absolutely prepared to stand with them uh, with those citizens to explain what a future respectful workplace looks like including how we serve citizens. I think the second barrier to a respectful workplace has been a little bit of fear in the organization about taking risk, about being innovative and being leading edge. The town of Oak Tokes gives me the opportunity to come up with my own ideas, see them through, sometimes for better, sometimes for worse, um, learn from those experiences, which is really important to my professional development and my career. So I think if we have the opportunity to remove those two barriers, we have an amazing uh, opportunity ahead together. The Town of Okotoks has a respectful workplace policy and it also provides training for its staff. All the help I needed was there and it just continues even after I have a bit of experience now under my belt. So it's still that same, what can we do to help you be better? So the Straight Talk Toolkit that we've rolled out for leaders and for all staff enables employees to have those conversations they've been afraid to have before. And to know that we're doing it in a safe environment where there are no repercussions from having that conversation. That's critical to uh, creating a successful, uh, respectful workplace. And um, it's our first step in moving that forward. And as we get better at having those Straight Talk conversations, you'll find it gets easier. You can put things out in the open a lot quicker and you can move forward quicker so um, I encourage everyone to have the courage to take that first straight talk conversation. We're investing in leaders so that they understand the culture needs to change. I know that there are open doors we need to go through when there are issues um, and that we um, are empowered to address those ourselves without going to anyone else first. 
coming to work and feeling safe and empowered to deal with any situations where you're not comfortable. It's not okay to ignore problems in the workplace. It's not okay to gossip behind people's back about an issue that you have with an individual. So the Straight Talk Toolkit that we've rolled out for leaders and for all staff enables employees to have those conversations they've been afraid to have before and to know that we're doing it in a safe environment where there are no repercussions from having that conversation.